Hello friends and welcome back today for a brand new video. I have for you the new collection from Too Faced. This is the Cosmic Crush collection from them. We've got a couple of new moon highlighters, also a new eyeshadow palette. There's a new lip injection. So I'm going to be testing them out in today's video, seeing what we think of this collection and giving you guys my thoughts on it. So if that sounds good, why don't we go ahead now and get started. So this just arrived from Too Faced to me. So I am appreciative to them for sending it my way because I was really actually intrigued by this palette. Too Faced is one of those brands that no matter what they release, I still find myself interested in their collections. I'm always interested to see what they're doing. Sometimes I can be a little bit bored, but sometimes I'm like, oh, that looks kind of fun. That looks unique. And I feel like this palette to me looked like that. It looked kind of different for Too Faced. I mean, it's not something that I feel like is unheard of for them, but kind of a little bit different. So let me show you guys the inside of it. This is called the Cosmic Crush Palette. And Too Faced does a lot of warm palettes, and for me, this one seems a little bit different. We've got some cooler tones in there. You've got some deeper shades with the black and the gray. We've got purples in here. It just seems a little bit of something, you know, a little bit outside of their norm. So I was excited to see them doing something a little bit different. And I like the style of this packaging, and I love the packaging in general. I feel like it's fun with the holographic look to it. And then they also came out with two new highlighters. So these are the Moon Crush um, highlighters, out of this world highlights. So there are two shades. So we have the shade Shooting a Star, which is right here. And then the second shade right here, which is a little bit more of a deeper shade. This one is called Shimmer Moon. So really pretty packaging on these. It's like that typical Too Faced compact with the gold, but it has like this soft pink look to it, which I think is really pretty. So we're going to try these out as well. And then lastly, a part of the collection, there is a new lip injection. So this is the lip injection in the shade Cosmic Crush. And we will go ahead and just apply this one first. Ooh, this is pretty. It has a pink top to it. And here's what that one looks like. So I'm just going to put this on so we can see it kind of do its thing. If you haven't tried these before, they are a lip plumper that makes your lips look nice and juicy. I'm sure you guys have heard of these, but this is a new color for them. So I'm going to apply this so you can see it do its thing. So there's that. And then let me show you a swatches of the palette before we get started testing it out on the eyes. You can already see this starting to do its thing, but here are swatches of all of the shades in the palette. The shimmers are swatching really, really nice. Um, sometimes Too Faced palettes can tend to be a little bit hit or miss for me. They can tend to have a little bit of a drier formula when it comes to the shimmers, but most of these look very, very sparkly, very high impact. So I am very excited to try them out on the eyes, but swatches look nice. I really do like all of the cool tones that are going on here. I love when palettes have that. So we're going to dig into this in just a second. Let me show you the highlights though, swatch wise. And here's a look at those highlights. You have your lighter shade right there. And then the deeper shade, these also look like they're going to be really nice on the skin. You can tell they're going to be quite blinding, but they don't look too chunky or glittery, which is my favorite thing in a highlight. So these look pretty. Now let's get started testing it all out on the eyes and then the highlights on the face. So I've got you zoomed up for primer. I'm just going to go in with some of the Kaleidos primer. This is actually my favorite for my eyes. This is just called the Tone Activator. I love applying this as a base before shadow. So I'm just going to use this first, cancel out any redness, and also act as a little bit of a sticky base for the shadows. So I'm first going to go into this shade right here. It's called Interstella, and I'm going to grab Interstellar, and I'm going to grab that on the Sigma brush. I'm going to be using mostly Sigma brushes in this look. So we're just going to start to bring this into the crease. This is one of my favorite type of colors. It's like a cool toned like gray purple. I love when palettes have colors like this. Huda does these a lot in her palettes and I just, I don't know, something about this color I just love on my eyes in particular. You can see too the gloss a little bit closer up now. It definitely has like an icier look to it. I feel like it's got its full effect now. My lips are definitely looking plumper for sure. So now that we've got that shade all blended, I'm going to go into the shade Big Bang over here, same brush, and I'm going to pick this up. You're going to use this just to deepen this outer portion of the eye, so kind of just tap it right here and then start to blend in with it. Keep building up the eye, so I'm now going to go into the shade Superstar, which is this brown in the palette, and I'm going to pick that up on, this is Sigma E49, and do the same thing. just going to keep this on the outer portion of the eye just to further deepen this up a little bit. So then more or less tap, and then again, start to bring it in blending wise. 
the mats seem to be blending really nicely together and I'm not having any patchiness or anything so far, which is good. Now I wanna start bringing in some of the shimmers. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Twinkle Twinkle, which is more of like this copper brown here. And I'm gonna bring this on the outer corner of the eye, kind of right on top of that deepest brown that we placed. So I'm just gonna tap that right over here. That looks really pretty. It has a lot of sparkle to it. And then for the inner portion of the eye, I'm gonna go into the shade right here called Moon Glow. This one looks so nice. It kind of has like a silvery green almost look to it. And this one in the swatch, yeah. That one is so foiled. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. I really like that color. Look at how much payoff that has. That is gorgeous. That shade is definitely high impact. I'm just using my finger. As you can tell, that is so pretty. Really like that color. And then let's go ahead and do lower lash. I'm gonna go into that first shade we went into and add that to the lower lash line. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that purple just for fun. This is called Two Spaced. And just the same brush, I'm just gonna add a little bit of that down in the outer portion of the eye as well. And then for inner corner, I'm gonna go into Milky Way, which is the matte white in the palette. And I'm just gonna add that to the inner corner just to brighten the eye a little bit more, so just right in here. I'm also gonna add a little bit to my brow bone as well. Okay, really liking this eye look, this is pretty. Let's go ahead and add mascara and then I'll be back to try out the highlight. All right, I'm back after mascara. I am just loving this eye look, that silver is just so pretty. It's really, really blinding. I used the Falsies Surreal from Maybelline, in case you're curious. On the mascara, I've been really enjoying this one from them that just came out. And now let's go ahead and try out these highlights. I think I'm gonna start with the lighter shade. I think this is gonna work more for my skin tone. I will try to top it maybe a little bit with this one, but I think for me personally, I'm gonna like this one a little bit more because it is a little bit more on that icy side. So I'm just gonna grab this. This is the Sigma um, High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush and just add this to my cheeks. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply it. Yep, it is going to be blinding. I kind of figured it would be pretty blinding, and it definitely is. So I'm just going to kind of work it up in here a little bit as well. I really like that color though. It's kind of icy, but it doesn't look too um, sparkly. Like I feel like it's, you know, you can see it on my cheeks, but when you look straight on, it's not like you have like a stark, you know, white line or anything like that. I feel like it's blending pretty well here. I'm going to add a little bit to my nose as well and then a little bit right in here. You can see the lip injection still looking pretty good right there. So let's add a little bit of a deeper shade. Like I said, this one's a little bit deep for me, but I'm going to add a little bit anyways. So I'll kind of just top it right on top of my blush over there, more or less just to blend it with the other one just so you can try it out. That one definitely has more of like a golden look to it. I think I can get away with using that. I just think it's just not my typical go-to for highlights. I like something a little bit more on the icy side. So I think that this one would be a little bit more suited to people with deeper skin tone, but I don't think it's bad on top of my bronzer there. You can definitely see it gives more of a golden shift as opposed to the white, uh, the first one that has more of a white base, but really pretty. Okay, I think that's it for this video. I know it's gonna be shorter, but I'm liking this collection. I really am. I think the highlight looks really pretty again it's not too glittery it's not too you know and chalky at all i feel like it looks really smooth and nice on the skin the palette palette surprised me a little i think it looks really nice on the eyes i was not expecting this much of a color payoff because like i said Too Faced can be a little hit or miss when it comes to their shimmers but the shimmers in this palette look really good. Um, there was only one that I swatched. It's this one, Frost in Space. This one was not as shimmery as the rest. It just looks a little bit more of like a toppery shade. So that's the only one in the palette that I feel like wasn't a more metallic shade. Um, but the rest of them swatched super metallic, which I like for my shimmers. All of the mattes blended really nicely. They all worked pretty easy. I can't wait to try out more colors in this. I feel like it's a fun color story, especially for Too Faced. I feel like it's something different. I really like the packaging on this collection. Um, the lip injection, you know, it's the maximum one, so I definitely could feel it on my lips, but I do think it looks pretty. It definitely plumped my lips, as always, um, and I think the packaging that they did on that is also really cute. So this is getting approval for me. I think that the, if this is a color store you're interested in or if you're kind of on the fence on getting this, I think you would enjoy it. I think it's a pretty good collection. I think they did a good job with it, but hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what you think down below of this collection, and don't forget to subscribe before you go, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye,